Hi, this is James Page with ECOC TV. Uh, we've stopped around the exhibition to talk to Martin Davis of Palomar Technologies. Uh, Martin, you've been around, Palomar's been around for nearly as long as ECOC, hasn't it? Certainly has, James, and yeah, thanks very much for your time today to interview me. Yeah, so um, Palomar started off as a division of uh, Hughes Aerospace in, in Carlsbad in California back in 75. So next year is our 47th birthday, so we're nearly as old as ECOC. Fantastic. We're glad to see you're still going and still producing products. So you have a new Die Bonder product coming out just this coming Wednesday, don't you? Wednesday the 15th, that's right. Yeah, so uh, it's called the 3880-2 and uh, it's... Uh, there's lots of new hardware and software features based on the, the, the other legacy bonders. So all, all that uh, experience and knowledge over the years, we've just been refining it, tuning it, and making it better and better. And this Dash 2 is no exception. Um, the main features um, are you'll get another 35% productivity out of the machine. So um, it's about 95% faster to, to program. Um, there's a lot of auto calibrations, uh, you don't have to move so much of the hardware anymore, things can stay in situ. So living with a bond day to day, um, you're just going to see a lot more productivity. But all the usual um, die bonding options and features of, of uh, the, 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 the 3880 um, that, that's on the market at the moment, but with some new enhanced special features. And one of those special features uh, I think I'm aware of uh, within the product is that it has a high bond force option as well. That's right. Well, you know, in, in the silicon photonics market, we see a, a lot of customers go into uh, photonic integrated circuits, PICs, and um, what they'd like to do there is um, plane our ball bump with our wire bonder, um, and then we flip chip and thermal compression bond. Um, but to, to, um, to bond all those bumps equally in a planar configuration, we need more than a standard bond force. So we can now bond up to five kilograms. Uh, and I think we think this is going to be a really good fit for this um, uh, optical transceiver market as it goes to this silicon photonics like PIC technology. And you think with that the technology coming on, you're, you're quite bullish about the state of the market at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. So, um, you know, we've all been suffering uh, over the last two years from COVID. Everyone went from home, uh, everyone streaming, uh, Netflix in high def and um, socialising. So the demand is bigger than ever and you know with smart cities um, you know automated uh, intelligent uh, um, technologies coming through it, the demand isn't going away like it did in the early 2000s um, so yeah we, we, uh, we, we are bullish about the the market um, the photonics market is about I think it's about 670 billion at the moment with a, a modest six to seven percent cager uh, compound annual growth rate but in this specialist area of silicon photonics with data transceivers, um, uh, with, with LiDAR technology and 3D sensing, uh, and quantum it is amazingly uh, uh, um, important for everyone and exciting. And, and we see quantum coming through as um, very challenging, but, but um, the lessons we learned in the transceiver world we can pass on in this quantum technology. So we think our equipment is going to be very well suited to automating quantum packaging as we go forward. So we're, we're very optimistic. Fantastic, really interesting. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk to ECOC TV. Good luck uh, with the launch on Wednesday and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah, will do. Thanks very much for your time, James. All the best.